This is probably the signature feature here on this nine mile reef and it provides shelter for numerous little fish. Many of the seagulls, the damsels, the wrasses and a couple of the smaller rock cod all use this structure for r safe refuge against the bigger pelagic fish. A lot of current moves past here and these green trees seem to thrive in these particular areas. Some nice grey skinned rubber lips uh, moving in and about the reef here. And this is what Nine Mile is all about. Some nice big high ledges, big fish. And this is a nice big potato bass. He's come into this area to be cleaned by numerous of the small little wrasse that you find in this area. A little further down the reef I noticed quite a striking little fish darting in and amongst two beautiful plate corals. I was quite excited to see that they were a pair of regal angel or royal angel fish. Quite a rare find on these shallow reefs here in Sedwana Bay. And then just to the right of this was a very interesting little animal. This was found by Grant, my dive buddy. It's a feather star that's moving from one location to the next and quite incredible how they use their feather-like legs or arms to transport this amazing intricate body across the reef. These intricate little animals normally colonize parts of the reef that is pretty exposed to the currents and what they do is they put out their feather-like arms and catch phytoplankton that moves past in the current and this is what they feed on. Then on our way back from Nine Mile, we were exceptionally fortunate to bump into a whale shark, the gentle giant of the oceans.